brothers and sisters, we're here today to talk about our most pertinent and most vital discussion, which has been going across the believers and unbelievers alike. Some stories from your days of old. Now, one of the things that has been on the minds has been the clean and unclean beast. The clean beast being one whose foot or hoof is unable to gather between its toes large amounts of poop it might step in. And the unclean beast has a foot or hoof with a split or divided toe, which upon stepping in its own poop, gathers up poop in a much, much, much greater degree. Now, why would the ancient people working in the holy place want to have the animals for their slaughter to be from the clean beast? I think it's obvious. The unclean beast is going to reek up the area where the kitchen is. May bring in the unclean beast with all that poop caught between them divided hoof toes and you're gonna find a stench that is unsightly in the nostrils of the great eternal being. It's true. So that's a simple thing to understand. These are very simple, very simple and easy to understand truths. Another one deals with the earth itself. Now, anybody would know the earth is flat. Now, come on, folks. When's the last time you walked a long distance? Say you walked, I don't know, a few thousand miles or so, and found the farther you walked, the more lopsided you found yourself. Until you actually got so far away you were walking upside down. That's proof and proof alone. The earth is not a ball. Modern science... Modern science is a tool of, of the devil himself. The devil is basically within each scientific instrument as the lies of Satan are manipulated to try to bring humanity into the realm of darkness. The earth is flat. The sun is a ball that circles around the earth. It's true. Science would have you believe the earth circles around the sun. But ev everyone, any man, woman, child, mosquito, kangaroo, whatever you might be, can see that if the earth circled around a ball of fire, that eventually, as it's circling, you would wind up upside down. You can take a ball, and when you tur start turning it, and going around some other place, you're going to find eventually you're upside down. And that is not the case. So the earth is flat, and I proved that. The sun is a ball that's going around this flatness, and the stars themselves are dots of light. Wonderful and pretty they are. So these are some of the simple facts that have been totally manipulated by modern science to try to take the believer and send him down to the fire eternal depths of Hades. That's something that we are here to try to combat as the true believers. Another item we might want to visit is the dinosaur and the dinosaur himself or herself depending on the gender of the dinosaur. The dinosaur did not make it on Noah's Ark because the dinosaur had died previously to Noah's Ark. That is something that is not spoken about in the book, the holy book of the good book, because it wasn't found to be necessary since the dinosaur was separated from the early humans of, of Adam's time because the Almighty did not want the dinosaurs eaten, Adam and Eve were their offspring. So by the time the dinosaurs had died out and Noah's Ark was built, 
Well, there was no need to write about them. These are simple truths. And all good believers would know these to be true. What other subject can we talk about? How about the original asbestos suit? Three, three men in the fire. You know that story, don't you? The bed and the go and his two pals. Asbestos. It's a wonderful thing. Modern uh, science might try to steal the discovery of asbestos, but it was known that far in the past. Wonderful things. Wonderful things that can be learned about while reading the good book. And other things are left to common sense. You see, the Almighty wanted to develop common sense in humanity. The problem was, well, Adam and Eve screwed up. But the eternal being, being totally of love and kindness, has allowed humanity, who deserved death, to live right up to our present day, 6,000 years later. So there's another wonderful thing to think about. In the grace of the Almighty, we are allowed to make mistakes even today. Luckily, the tree of knowledge is gone from us. But in its place has, well, the evils of science have taken the place of the tree of knowledge itself. And we all know the evil that comes out of science. So I would just like to um, say that, brothers and sisters, do not be fooled by the slings and arrows that college and university educated youth and those who have aged some since their college days will try to present you you must keep yourself from the universities and colleges we have the textbook the only textbook we need that's all I have to say today maybe another study in the word